This episode of Second Vermont is brought to you by Coldwell Banker, Hickok, and Boardman Realty. Monet would have had a field day here because it's like, okay, Basin Harbor in the winter, and Basin Harbor as the sun is setting, and Basin Harbor in the morning. And Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Salberger. We're here in Virgins at the Basin Harbor Club. Harbor Club dates back to the 1700s, and Penny and Bob, who run the club today, are the fourth generation hosts. Well, both Penny and I started working full-time when we were 13. Growing up, both Bob and I just uh, met different kids uh, week after week after week. I guess swimming in the lake and boating. and So we just developed many wonderful friendships and relationships with these people that are continuing today. Today is their annual art show, Reflections on Basin Harbor. It's its 25th year. People line up at the door to come every year. So I'm like a kid at Christmas time on this day in August every year because I can't wait to see what the artists have produced. Well, Reflections on Basin Harbor started in 1986, where it was our centennial year of business. And we've invited Vermont artists to come and paint their reflections as they see them of Basin Harbor. And, and I asked for a cottage on the lake. And I got one. They put us up for a couple nights, we're fed. No starving artists here, we're fed. You know, I would be here at times when I wouldn't normally be here, like late in the evening and very early in the morning, and those are the most beautiful times. Basin Harbor gives the artists that connection. They give us two free nights stay here. So when we capture our experience, it matches up with their guest experience. The wonderful thing about this is that it acquaints people who are not from Vermont, perhaps, with the wonderful work of Vermont artists. All these artists who have artwork around here will probably tell you that people have come from Basin Harbor to their studios and stuff, and it's just a win-win for the creative economy. Our concept for the artists is really to come and relax and just just enjoy the place and be inspired. And there's a real great spatial element here and that's why the artists' mediums are all so different. And the, the really interesting thing over the years is what the artists see versus what we see absolutely every day. Every kind of media here it seems that you can imagine and the styles are completely different. I think it's fun to see how everybody takes the nuance of Basin Harbor and makes it their own. There's lots of color and light and movement here between the water of the lake and the gardens. We just never get tired of the view and never get tired of the landscape. You've got the water, you've got the mountains on the other side of the water. Juxtapositions of chairs of complementary colors to the flower beds and I mean, there's just so many different combinations that you could do here. My grandfather always felt that the view was and is a non-depletable resource. You know, the sky's the limit. You could paint this, I could paint this for the rest of my life. Many of our guests have become important patrons for some of these artists. I mean, a lot of people come to Basin Harbor to view the show. Uh, it's great exposure for us as artists. Generally, 30 to 40 percent of the paintings are sold. I, I've been fortunate enough to make a couple sales already, so that helps, especially in this economy. I've built quite a following out here at Basin Harbor. They own one of my pieces, which is behind the reservation counter now. Every year, the resort buys something wonderful. Oh, we all would like to have larger places to put them. I saw this one and it just it spoke to me about Basin Harbor and about what brought me to Vermont. The heron spoke to me too when I was painting. He, he came every morning that I was here and did some fishing and then he flew off very suddenly right in front of me. So to have her see the same thing that I felt was very touching. The people have been living here for thousands and thousands of years. They've been seeing the same things that we see. You know, Lake Champlain was the interstate back then. It was how people traveled. At one point in time, you would have seen Native Americans traversing the lake. At one point of time, you would have seen Benedict Arnold coming down the lake being chased by the British. But gee, wouldn't it be great if someday there was this resource of all this great Lake Champlain history, and that's the beginning of the Mar Maritime Museum. When I was a little girl, before the Ticonderoga was off the lake, we used to charter it for picnic suppers. I feel like I'm 106, that I remember riding on the Ticonderoga, but, but I do. That it has been in the same family for all these years and have kept up the tradition, which is just for some people, old people like me, it's nice. It's my family, Beach family, has been operating Basin Harbor for 125 years. It's a family place and they've kept it this way through the generations. When I grew up, we just were all over the place. Our parents saw us at mealtimes, maybe. If 
they were lucky. So here, kids can really truly be kids. Families can reconnect. We have so many extended families who come. We have families that we've grown up with and vacation with for generations. And if this place looks familiar, it's because it might remind you a little bit of dirty dancing. We'll get stuck in with you again real soon. I know people say this is sort of like the beauty dancing resort. Do you ever hear that comparison? There's some truth to that. We have about 135 staff that live on property, and we have about 300 staff. So um, you can imagine uh, anything goes. We're starting to outgrow our, our home now and we're just renting and we're getting married in two weeks so we want to start a new home together. To be represented by a realtor makes more sense now than ever. Oh, it's great. He does everything for you and explains everything. Your home is your largest investment that you're ever going to make. Take your time. You have to have fun with it. My goal as your realtor is to help you make a good decision that you're going to be happy with for a long time.